Hi everyone, my name is Jason. Today's video is super, super special. As you guys know, I have been really, really interested in the wildlife in my garden. For those of you new to my channel and to me, I am an urban gardener. But with a little bit of a twist, I think it's probably best if I just take you out onto my garden. <laughs> Let's go. My garden is on the 18th floor of a city centre apartment in Manchester. In spring 2021, I showed how I was self-sufficient in salads through my balcony harvest and my balcony tour video. But summer 2021, my garden is looking wild. I started gardening properly last year and ever since then, my mental health has improved dramatically. One of the things that I struggle with the most is actually pollinators. Being this high up, I don't get butterflies or other pollinating insects that ground level gardeners do. So I decided I was going to try and encourage my own wildlife onto my balcony. I did a lot of research into what kind of insects would be really, really great. And then I came across mason bees. I found a company called masonbees.co.uk and they run a really, really smart program on mason bees. They are so smart and so knowledgeable about the bees. I explained my situation about pollinators up here and we thought it would be a really, really interesting experiment to see what would happen if I released mason bees on my balcony. Now, admittedly, it didn't quite go to plan, but nature has its own way of dealing with things. So let me show you how it went. Mason bees are a type of solitary bee. They're not as well known or as popular as honey bees or bumblebees, but they are absolutely vital to the pollination of plants and our agriculture. Mason bees are super furry and pollen sticks to them like Velcro. Whereas in comparison, honey bees store pollen in baskets on their legs. In terms of pollination, this gives mason bees an advantage. Honeybees have a 5% pollination rate, whereas in comparison, mason bees have a 95% pollination rate. That is insane. Masonbees.co.uk sent me one of their guardian kits. They were founded in 2012 and are a family run business. In the guardian kit, they provide you with a release box, some tubes and some cocoons. Now this video was recorded in April 2021. Now I thought I'd have a bit of time before the bees hatched. Due to the poor weather in the spring, my garden is about a month behind where it should be. So imagine my surprise when the bees had already hatched. Here's Tristan the bee chewing his way through his cocoon. Just look at how cute he is. But don't be fooled, these male bees have only got one thing on their mind. They stay near any females and wrestle off any competition. Not long after mating, they'll die and then the females start getting to work building their nests. The females nest in hollow tubes and they collect pollen and then lay an egg. They then use mud to seal up a chamber, hence the name mason bees. She'll fill several nests in her short six week lifespan. Because I released them indoors, I found them all over my house. I even found Trisha, my absolute favorite of the bunch, in my blinds. <laughs> I would leave the balcony door open, but because the weather was so poor and it was quite cold, they actually wanted to stay indoors. So I kind of just had some lodgers for about a week or so. <laughs> For the first time in a few weeks, it's actually a sunny day. So come on girls, let's see if we can get you outside. I put these guys outside and I was hoping that the warm weather would kickstart them and get them off on their journey. Little did I know that Trisha would be having absolutely none of it. In fact, she and her friends didn't leave at all. It gave me a really unique experience to document what are normally solitary bees interacting with each other. Look at this defensive pose from Trisha. 
I couldn't tell whether Sharon was just investigating or whether she was a little bit aggressive. Speaking of, mason bees are absolutely perfect for your gardens because they're stingless and they can't hurt you. If you're on the Guardian program with masonbees.co.uk, when your tubes are full, you can send them right back to mason bees and they'll screen them for any parasites. And then the next year, they'll send you more tubes and more cocoons. So all you have to do is make a one-off payment for the equipment. It was fascinating watching them interact with each other. Ants and bees are closely related. I was reminded of this when I saw this behaviour. They literally followed each other all afternoon. Before I knew it, the sun was beginning to set and the bees started to find somewhere to hide. I didn't want them to get cold overnight so I decided to get the tubes and let them nest in the tubes. Each bee has her own preference when it comes to tubes, so I didn't have much hope, but I thought I'd give it a go. After a bit of patience, she selected her tube and in she went. Trisha was doing the absolute most. You can tell the sun had already gone down by the time she picked her tube. I had a sneaky suspicion she probably wants to go back to my blinds. <laughs> Come on, we finally got her in. They stuck around in the tubes for a couple of days. They drank from my balcony pond and also from my rock pools that I have around the garden. But the reality is, is I just didn't have enough pollen on my garden at that time. The poor weather really set me back. Unfortunately, the mason bees didn't nest with me. Not all was lost. A couple of months later, I was visited by Tracy. <laughs> Tracy is my brand new bumblebee friend. She flies up to my garden every day and feeds on my garden and pollinates it for me as well. And it just goes to show that even on the 18th floor, my balcony garden can still contribute to the wildlife in my city centre. So just imagine what would happen if more people started to use their small spaces in urban areas as well. We could see our urban wildlife increase. Here's a cell from a leaf cutter bee. I tried a similar experiment with leaf cutter bees as well. So if you want to see how that went, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and head on over to my Instagram and I will show you exactly what happened. And yes, in true Cloud Gardener UK style, it did not go to plan. But nature never does. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hopefully, I'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs> Honestly, you can't write this.